Well, good morning. Just thought uh, I'd give a quick update of where I am uh, on the uh, 3403C. Uh, we tested the attenuator in the previous video and on DC found that it was uh, accurate. And so the next step uh, would be to go to the input amplifier and start checking to see uh, the, if the input amplifier was correct or was working. And then uh, we'd see the thermopile protection uh, circuit be involved. And we could flip to DC because if you look here, you'll see the DC function only. And so I could take the input uh, amplifier and cut out the conversion amp and, and so on in here. And so, you know, that sort of seems to imply how it works. But actually, if we take a look at the uh, circuit diagram, you know, what you'll actually see is this is the attenuator section here. And that was the part that we checked. And you can see here are the two 9.5 meg uh, resistors that are set up in the voltage divider for that, uh, the 10 millivolt uh, 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 attenuation that gave us the, the uh, 0.5 attenuation there. Um, the 0.5 gain, sorry. And then uh, it comes across here and goes into the input amplifier. And then if the diagram, the block diagram was really correct, what it would say is that this line here, which is the DC function, comes out here and goes across. But at the same time as that's doing that, what you'll notice is that it still outputs a value or a power, a voltage, sorry, to the thermocouple that goes into the converter amp and is actually used as part of the thermopile protection circuit, which is up here. And so effectively, uh, what it does is it basically compares these voltages versus a, a bias voltage here to decide what uh, uh, voltage is going to be put out here onto this first uh, transistor onto Q6 here and then it's either going to turn that on or turn that off and if it turns that on it should turn off both of these uh, items here which would then turn off the plus and minus rails to the input amplifier and that's how the thermal power protection is supposed to work it's supposed to turn off the power to the output amplifier that's part of the input amplifier circuit so, you know, what uh, we wanted to do as the next step is I wanted to look at that thermopile protection. And so I started uh, poking around, and here you can see the, uh, the board here. And let me just zoom in a bit. Oh. Just zoom back out just slightly. All right, so now you see the board here. The attenuator section is this part over here. And you can see there are the two 9.5 uh, meg uh, resistors. And that comes into pin 1 of the input amplifier here. Then pin 6 and 7 are just here, and that has our power on it. And that is controlled by Q4 and 5 here and Q6 here, you know, which will turn that, uh, those rails on and off. And the output uh, of this unit comes out here, and that was, uh, let me take a quick look, that was pin 9. You know, so it's going to come out of this guy here. And then it's going to go through IC4 here, and eventually IC3, to come and be fed back into these guys here. So what I did is I measured the, the voltages on those, and the voltage didn't seem, what I was seeing was the power supply was not getting fully cut off. The positive rail never turned off, and the negative rail dropped from minus 12 down to minus 7. And so I thought, well, the issue is going to be with uh, these transistors here. So I went looking at those, and those transistors turned out to, uh, to all be fine. I checked the, um, uh, I checked, uh, uh, the Zenith diodes. I checked the um, uh, other items through here. I checked the outputs, the connectivity, the traces, and so on. And what we saw was all of this stuff seemed to be, you know, let me move that down a little bit. All of this stuff seemed to be correct. These are Q4, Q5, Q6, IC3 seem to all be working uh, correctly. So looking at this, then we have this push-pull configuration here that uh, you know was doing something probably around the current sourcing or syncing for the, for this type of uh, you know for what's coming in here. So that was these parts here, Q1 and Q2 on the A3 board. And so I took a look at those, and they're all okay as well. So right now, I'm sort of at a loss as to what the next steps are, because the componentry that are in these circuits 
appears to be correct and that really only leaves me with is IC4 running properly and you know when I look at uh, at that you know I, I can't really do anything with it I can't really test that because that is a custom we can see here this is IC4 and IC4 here this is a custom um, integrated circuit from uh, Hewlett Packard and so I don't know um, really what uh, is supposed to be going on here you know it says it's an operational amplifier um, you know but it has uh, offset values it has uh, balance uh, values this is the a balance circuit for it you know it's feeding out um, you know an AC feedback and a DC feedback path and so you know without having further information about what's going on I, I really don't know whether I'm you know what is happening at this IC is actually correct so what you see is when it goes into an overvolt uh, situation you do see uh, a, dip, a, vo a low voltage being put on 9 and that voltage being increased uh, on pin 12 so this little amplifier here is doing its job but you know I, I really don't know what my next steps are here so I think what I have to do is uh, uh, sit down and wait until I can find another 3403C that's either working or uh, is not working but not working in a different way to find out what um, uh, the appropriate voltages should be in this area so I can identify the part that's actually uh, breaking you know or maybe just try swapping uh, uh, IC4 so with that uh, I think I need to you know wrap this up and just set it aside and um, uh, move on to some of my next uh, my next items um, you know I'll come back to it I'll you know save this uh, these printouts I'll write a little note up I have these videos so I can watch these when I get uh, if my uh, if I can find a replacement uh, device not a great satisfactory uh, end to this uh, this work but you know it is uh, with some of this old stuff you can't uh, necessarily be sure you know it's a you know, is this guy working? I believe this guy is working. You know, we'll just have to uh, to wait and see. Anyway, uh, I hope you found this series interesting, and you'll check in for the uh, uh, the next set of videos. Catch you later. Bye.